Good morning, welcome to Hump Day. Uh, you're in the meta space, and what we do here on a Wednesday is recognize everyone has a journey. And so this is a great space for each of us to appreciate where the other is, uh, where others are at. You know, one of the things that people uh, look for in life is uh, significance. Another is acceptance. And uh, if we don't find either, then we're not in a, then generally we won't stay in that place long unless we have to. A job is one example where people will do things most of their life even if they're not appreciated, even if they don't like it. In fact, I heard about uh, one person sharing a study that over 80% of people uh, spend time working in a job that they, they hate uh, all their life. Isn't that amazing? And so it's really important to be able to uh, provide spaces, places, uh, be with people where, you know, recognizes diversity. Rec it, uh, appreciates uniqueness, uh, where we do feel accepted, um, that uh, you know, we're, there, there is a place for us to feel significant. And recognizing that in any community or in any journey is very, very important. And so I encourage uh, other people to appreciate where they are in their journey. And uh, sometimes or many times it's not you know, the journey, we may not be where we wanna be, but just recognizing that the Every season serves its purpose, you know, and we go through good times and hard times. We go through spring times, summer times, autumns and winters. And that's okay. You know, each season has its pluses and each season has its negatives. My kids themselves, uh, they love winter. And I look at them and they go, are you crazy? And, uh, you know, but they, they like it because they enjoy their mobile devices. They like it because they can feel warm and snuggled up while they're doing that. Uh, but my favorite is spring and summer because it gives me the freedom to be able to do things that I don't usually am able to do during the winter. It enables me to feel free to step out into the sunshine, to go down to the beach, to move about and just to enjoy not being uh, all clothed up, you know, in, in clothing that uh, where I feel restricted. So here's a space where we, we are here where you, I hope you find community, significance, acceptance, uh, and uh, that recognizes who you are and, uh, and that you are appreciated for who you are. There's a saying that goes, together we go further. And there's another one that says, together everyone achieves more. And I really, really believe that. I, you know, if the world was meant to be one person, then God or the universe would have selected uh, one copy and we would just be clones of each other. But no, that's not the case. Every eye, every fingerprint uh, is different um, between every person. And this is a lot to me, that color diversity differences uh, are very important to, um, to the universe, to God. And, uh, and if, if it's important to those places, then I think it's important for us to consider and to remember that everybody has a place in the spectrum and, we can, and that we can also learn from one another. And so that's where we bring, to, bring it to this community. There are, there, look, there are so many communities throughout the world. Most we will plug into um, that we like, you know, especially when it comes to online. If we appreciate an online community, you know, we will be a part of it. And if we don't, then uh, then we won't. It's, it's a simple choice. You know, we can turn up anonymous, anonymously, we can turn up and we can show ourselves. It's, it's, it's up to us, but uh, there's probably not one person on the earth that uh, appreciates having community, whether it's online, offline, um, on a game. You know, they do have communities online and games where you can be liaising with people. Like I said, you can even do it anonymously um, or not. So, you know, I, Every person um, is part of a community somewhere. Uh, they may not be visible, but still they're a part of something somewhere, online or offline. So this is one of those places where I hope that you'll be able to find community. And, uh, and if not, well, you know, there'll be other places elsewhere that you can find the same or something similar. And that's important. It's important for you. It's important for me to, to be able to recognize that. As I bring this to a close, uh, this particular part, 
you know, uh, I was looking up about the important things inside the world, important things inside uh, what, uh, what is significant for people uh, worldwide. And seven of those that stood out to me, which you could probably look up on any list uh, and they would have, have them is peace. People are looking for peace. And that's important because often um, when our life falls to pieces, what are we looking for? It is peace, isn't it? And, uh, and that's in every area of our life. Health, so important. With our health, you can't enjoy your wealth. That's the saying. And, uh, and we can't, if health is not good, then stress is higher. And number three is family and friendship. So this is why we have this community and there are many, many others, as I've mentioned before, right throughout the world. So family and friendship, so important to, you know, if, uh, to have a place where you feel accepted, uh, feel significant, um, uh, recognizing your uniqueness. Purpose, that's number four. And we often talk about the why, the why, like, what is your why? You know, what is, the, what is that that makes you, your, your heart, sing or cry um what makes you get emotional usually it's our loved ones uh, and if we think about the world the un the earth the universe even we think about wow how colorful and diverse um, it has been made to be able to appreciate is very important number five is time so finite uh I, it's just amazing how sometimes we forget about the significance of time and uh you know we talk about the meta space, it's in about going beyond where we are, our comfort zones. And when you think about that, you know, isn't it amazing that uh, sometimes we take for granted the amount of time that we have, uh, day, a week, a month, a year, and more goes by. And uh, there is, you know, there's how many minutes in a day? I think there's, if I recognize it, it's 1440. If I've got it right, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> but 14, 40 minutes inside a day. And, <clears throat> and uh, what are we doing with those? Sleeping, working, spending time with the people we care about. So important to make the most of the time. No one gets more, no one gets less. Number six is learning. And uh, I used to think that, oh, learning was mostly about school. But what I've appreciated as I've got older is that learning is more than that. Learning is about a whole life and through a greater a variety of things other than just the school books. It's about appreciating everyone and everything around us. Um, because like I was mentioning earlier, that if it was meant to be one thing, one person would be carbon copies and would have a blank space to live in. Carbon copies of people, uh, so that we all look the same. And then a, a very blank space, a piece of paper where there was nothing to look at and appreciate, but it's so colorful, our world, and so are people. And last of all, is seven, what about what really matters is love. And, um, and it's about loving ourselves, uh, loving each other, loving other persons. So those are seven things that I hope you consider. Maybe you've got one or two more. Peace, health, family and friendship, purpose, time, learning, and love. So this is the meta space. And specifically looking at how they are about community, significance, acceptance, color, diversity, uniqueness, community, and appreciating other people's journey. And appreciate you for tuning in today.